Start with the beginning of the hallpike test by asking the patient to lie down with their head turned 45 degrees to the right to treat the right ear. Wait for any nystagmus to die away just as during testing. It is important that the head is 20 degrees below the horizontal to ensure that the otoconeal debris reaches the top of the canal. This can be achieved either with neck extension, if the patient can manage it comfortably and safely, or by using a tilting couch. The nystagmus may last up to 30 seconds. Once it has died away, gently roll the head round by 90 degrees, maintaining the extension or tilt. Wait again for any nystagmus to stop, or for 30 seconds. Next, ask the patient to roll over, keeping their head still. It is important that they do not try and sit up at this stage. Turn their head a further 45 degrees. Wait again and then sit up carefully. Watch for further nystagmus and keep hold of the patient for a few moments as they may be dizzy. To treat the left ear, start with the patient's head turned to the left. If you see any nystagmus during the manoeuvre, it should continue in the same direction as originally observed. If it reverses, the manoeuvre will need to be repeated. The brisker manoeuvres, shown as the treatment for suspected cupulolithiasis, can also be used to treat canal lithiasis and may be an appropriate choice if the sideline test was used.